Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got item server connection problems. Uh, Gunslinger Ashwood Asylum Suicidal, for all those people who uh, want to know the stats of the map, but don't actually pay attention to the to the video. I'm sure there's some of you out there. I'm sure there's uh, there's either some of you out there right now, or some of you out there in the future. It's weird to uh, come from Edge of Asylum, because uh, the low gravity is not present. I'm sure there's somebody out there. I don't know why you'd want to know the the map we're playing on, but uh, you know I uh, I respect it. That's why I say at the beginning of every episode what we're playing. Of course, I'm I'm very respectful to the uh, to the people who enjoy my content in whatever the whatever way they want to. You know, it takes a, a moment, of course. Yeah, you know, I uh, I oftentimes watch. Um. Content when I'm falling asleep myself. I, I don't pay attention to the screen or whatever. I'll just kind of lie there and keep my eyes closed and just listen to what's going on. I really, um, I really appreciate when people kind of dictate what's happening in, in a more natural manner. You know, it's, it's possible to go overboard with it a little bit, of course. Um, you know, kind of like I don't need like visually impaired assistance kind of stuff, you know. But uh, I appreciate when people take uh, the extra just half a second to, to say what happened, you know? Like, uh, a lot of people will, um... You know, if you're playing Minecraft, you know? A lot of people will go to a chest and be like, ah, we need some of these. I appreciate when people go to the chest and they say, ah, we need some cobblestone. You know? Now I know what's happening. I know they're in a chest, they're grabbing cobblestone, I've got that kind of information. It lets me enjoy it a little bit more. I don't have to open my eyes and see what's happening. I strive to uh, I strive to be that. Now, my content doesn't really necessarily necessitate the viewing of it. There's nothing really important that happens on screen. It's mostly about the commentary, but I still I still like to do my part, you know, for for the people like me out there. I want to do my part for the people not like me, but I don't know what they want, so I can I can only do so much. I read a little bit more of the uh, the Wendy. The Florist Manhwa. I have no idea how to pronounce it. It's M A N H W A, I believe. It's a, a Korean word. That's that's the like romanization. Blah, the you know, Latin characters. Um, thing. I don't know. Roman the romanization. I can't. I cannot pronounce it. It's the. It's it's the. You know, using. I, I can't. I can't pronounce it. Okay, I'm sorry. Like, obviously in Korea, they don't spell it M-A-N-H-W-A. They spell it, you know, Man and Hwa, probably. Which are probably just two characters, I'd uh, assume. Um, well, maybe, maybe three. Man, Hwa. I don't know. But, uh... It's how it's spelled if you're, you know, English-speaking, or, you know, any speaking that isn't... Um, well, I won't say that isn't Korean, because I'm, I'm sure Japanese uh, people have their own spelling of it as well. Probably just call it manga, because uh, it is the same thing. It's it's just um, native to... to it's, it's Korean instead. Um, China also has it. It's spelled differently, I believe, but pronounced the same, I think, or at least it looks like it's pronounced the same. Spelled differently though. What were they cooking up here? For some reason. Bonjour. Which makes me think that it wouldn't be pronounced the same, but I'm like, I have no idea how you would pronounce these differently. Maybe there's more of an H sound, like Manhua. And then in the uh, the China version of it, there's no H, Manhua. Because uh, I think uh, it has like H U A or something. I don't know. I don't know, dude. It's not important. I read a little bit more of the uh, the Wendy, the florist or whatever. Wendy is a florist? Wendy the florist? Something like that. Wendy florist, you'll find it. Um, oh, I left it at like another cliffhanger, you know? Bad. Between the episodes, I let it pick a... Pick a, a not random, I'm not calling it random anymore because I've, I've learned that it's not. It definitely is just alphabetical. Um, and if you play on a modded map, it just kind of picks a... Ashford Asylum. Um, but... Uh, it's not shuffle, it's just a playlist. Um, anyway. 
I had uh, I'd left it at a terrible cliffhanger, dude. I'm excited to get back and read some more of it. Can't remember what the cliffhanger was. <laughs> I have such a terrible memory, you know. But I remember reading it and being like, "Ah, oh, crap! I shouldn't have done this." Because I really don't have the time to, to continue reading and then still record. I'm like at the the boundary of responsible here for sure. It's okay though. Spook town. Spook town. Oh, ha, ha, he, he, he sneaked behind me, dude. It's not fair. Why does he get to sneak behind me, but I don't get to sneak behind him, huh? I've only slaughtered, like, millions of, uh, of his kin. What's, what's the big deal? You know, why has he got to be so mad? His only game. His only game. Why you have to be mid? His only game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna strive to, hello, I'm gonna strive to get this, uh, this video uploaded on time. Hopefully it goes up, uh, 8 a.m. Pacific time. We'll see. <laughs> but I'm gonna try and get on track with, uh, with the, the, the timeliness. Be a little bit more, uh, temporally responsible. Tomatoes. That's my tip. Good for clotting. Perhaps. I just, I have, uh, I have time management problems for sure. If I ever go back to counseling, it's it's definitely for that. <laughs> well, there's like a billion problems, but that's one of them. It would probably not be the main motivator. If I was to ever go back to counseling, it would probably... What would I go back to counseling for? Like, what would my motivator be? Like, I can think of a billion problems that, like, I really should go to it for. But, you know, I don't go to counseling, so obviously none of them are... Things that are, are valid motivators. What would uh, what would be a valid motivator for me? You know what? I think if I'm if I'm gonna be honest with you, a likely scenario here for me to go back to counseling is uh, is probably like a bad relationship and that happens in the future. You know, I'm I'm trans and autistic. It's it's a bad combination if you want to have people like uh, be romantically interested in you. Um. So I can imagine having like a, a bad relationship, a bad breakup, or something like that, and then uh, being motivated to go to counseling and like, yeah, you know, I don't think that I'd go back because like I'm traumatized from the bad relationship, but I think that it would be the motivator, like okay, let's like go finally actually get my life sorted out, kind of thing. Not that my life's like in shambles, but you know, <laughs> that's that's the only thing I could think that would motivate me to to go. You know, obviously, like, I don't know, family members dying or something, I guess. That, that, you know, I'd end up in therapy. Probably, I don't know, I probably wouldn't. I was, I was thinking about it for a moment, and I'm like, eh, no, actually. My, uh, my grandparents, I'm, you know, I'm gonna be terribly sad when it, uh, when it happens. But, uh, I, I won't need therapy for it. Um, it's, it's, a uh, it's, it's a fairly expected thing at this point. They're old, you know? Um, you know, I've, I've talked about how I, I, you know, my parents aren't necessarily people I, uh, I view as being, you know, very close with. I'd be, um, distraught, perhaps, a little, but, uh, I don't think it would necessitate, uh... Okay, yeah, we got this. I don't think it would necessitate therapy. And, uh, you know, my sister, perhaps. But... I don't think I'd, uh, I'd need therapy for that either. And then anybody else in my life who dies, I'm like, yeah, well, I don't know you. <laughs> friends, you know. I don't have any friends, really, that, uh... I mean, I actually have, like, no friends that I, uh, that I get along with here in, uh... Where I live, I, you know, like, even disregarding COVID. You know, there's a lot of people who uh, who don't have friends that they hang out with because of uh, of COVID. But I just I don't have friends to begin with um, that uh, that I'd be hanging out with anyway. I did um, up until like a month before COVID, and I was content with that. I was like, yeah, that's that's good enough. You know, I don't need uh, I don't need anything else, right? Um, and then we had to like kind of break apart and. We don't really get together anymore because people have moved away and whatever. And then COVID hit, so I'm like, all right, well, I don't even like. 
yeah, I had plans to eventually like uh, find another friend group or something to like that to, to kind of join in and uh, get some stuff going on or whatever. Have some some personal real life uh, relationships and, and stuff like that. You know, not necessarily romantic, but. Uh, by my calculation. Then COVID hit, and it's like, yeah, no, you don't get to do that. That's not allowed. So I don't, I don't have, uh, I don't have friends in, in real life that I'd uh, be too uh, upset over the death of. I don't, I don't think, I don't think anybody's death would, uh, for me, warrant uh, therapy. I think I mostly come to terms with everybody's. And then, uh, you know, most of my friends are all online. I'd be like super sad, but. Therapy? I don't know. Time. You know? I don't have too much experience with deaths. I have a little bit, but not uh, not an awful lot. Not too many people in my life have died, so... I don't get to speak too confidently on it. I don't know how I'd react, really. So it's a thing that uh, you hope doesn't happen, right? You can't really control it. You can you can kind of prolong it a little bit. To a, to a certain extent, but you don't really get an awful lot of control over it. Um, so it's not, it's not necessarily a pleasant topic for sure, but, you know, it, it happens to everybody. We're all gonna die someday. I think it's, um, I, I, I personally view it as, as being important to recognize that and accept it. You know, not, not to be too, um, negative or, what's the, like, pessimistic or, um, I, there's a specific word for it, but like not to be too that, but you know, I don't think it's a, it's a terrible topic to talk about. But it's something you don't want to think about, right? It's not it's not a pleasant thing to think about. Your your family, your friends dying. It's like yeah, no, you're just gonna be pretty sad. But this, this, you know, would I go to therapy for it? Would it motivate me to go to therapy? I don't think so. I think for me, what I would need to motivate me to go to therapy, and I don't I don't think I need it. You know, I'm not going to therapy. I clearly don't think I need it. Maybe I do, but um. Exactly 10,000 dosh earned. Is it always 10,000? I, I feel like I've remarked about that a few times now. Um, I don't know, maybe. But, um, what was I talking about? Death. Yeah, what would I, what I, what I would need to motivate me to go to therapy? Wouldn't be more like bad stuff you know I wouldn't need like you know an extra dose of depression or sadness or whatever because I feel like I'm pretty good at handling that I don't want it to happen but I feel like I'm, I'm pretty good at uh, coping with uh, with that kind of stuff I've already had you know years of therapy to, to kind of learn to, to handle those things you know um, to learn how to handle emotions and, and all of this uh, so I don't, I don't feel like that's what I need you know I, I need something that, that shows me that, uh, you know, who I am isn't fit to, to be somebody that's happy, you know? Like, for instance, a relationship that kind of, like, goes really poorly um, and kind of, like, you know, makes me realize that, yeah, no, like, I have problems that I need to work on, you know? What, what problems? I don't know. Like a billion of them, probably, but I'm, I'm mostly just looking for somebody who's going to love them anyway. I don't think I'm a bad person, but uh, I could I could see it happening. Yes, that's the most. Uh, I don't think it's gonna happen either. Like, uh, I I think that uh, I'll, I'll generally have a pretty good time with relationships. I don't think I'm gonna have any bad relationships, bad breakups, especially. You know, whenever dating ends up happening again, even even if COVID goes away tomorrow, I don't think I'm ready to to start dating anytime soon. Anyway, but um, that's that's probably what I need. Some some along those lines, you know. Some that kind of brings to my attention that. Uh, I'm not fit to, to do what I, I want to do, you know? Choices, and I, I do think that I'm fit to do what I want to do. That's why I'm not going to therapy. But I would, I would need something that would, uh, would change my, uh, my stance on that. And, uh, you know, somebody else dying, well, it sucks. It, uh, it doesn't really make me think that I'm not capable of handling things. It would make me sad, and I'd mourn, and I'd, you know, it would suck, but, like... I, I don't think it would uh, it would have the same impact, like it would have a different impact. You know, not 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 like a word like a better like I don't know. I don't, I don't think it would uh, be the same as as uh, something like a bad breakup. 
I need I uh, need an impetus of some sort. Some kind of motivator to improve myself. I feel like uh, depression isn't that. <laughs> it would just make it. Uh, it would raise the bar on what I need to to make me go to therapy. I think. If anything, but I don't think I'd be too distraught by it, by uh, by somebody dying. Obviously, like you know, sad. Yeah, but. I think I'd be okay. I'd, uh, I'd rather not test it, though. <laughs> you know, like, I, I have a high degree of confidence that uh, I wouldn't be... I'm, I'm fairly detached, anyway, from my emotions, to a, to a, to a large extent, anyway. Um, which is probably a reason I should go to therapy. Uh, but, you know, whatever. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think I'd be okay. But, but something that, that, like, throws in my face that, like, I need help. That's, that's a motivator. For sure. Anyway, the moral of the story, I guess, is I'm not going to counseling or something. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's expensive, too, you know? Like, I used to go to counseling. It was, I didn't pay for it, but, um, I didn't know what it cost. It was like 120 bucks an hour or something like that. When I was getting speech therapy, it was similar. Um, just absolutely insane what they're making. You know, it, it'd be nice if like it was covered because you know mental health is is pretty dang important. <laughs> it would be nice if it was covered uh, by the uh, healthcare or whatever, but or even like if basically any. Um, like private insurance companies covered it, but like they just don't. You know, and uh, it sucks. People just don't really take mental health seriously. It's a uh, it's a it's a big problem for sure. I think it's it's a it's a problem on like a global scale that that people don't take mental health seriously, theoretically. When your lift comes out like that, have I talked about? Uh, yeah, I've talked about. I used to have a uh, lift where I talked with. Uh, Instead of, I couldn't say S's. I had to have uh, speech therapy as a child. Teach me how to say my S's. I totally thought that was like. I was so confused. This really looked like something else for a bit, and I was. mighty confused. That's all. I'll leave it at that. You be dead. Any hoozle, any hoozle. I just want to get back to reading my, uh, my Wendy the Florist. Okay, it's the only thing that keeps me happy these days. Is my obsession, my perhaps unhealthy obsession with, uh, Asian media. Or, I guess, East Asian media. I don't really care for... I, I, I don't think I've ever... No, I, I have seen some Indian movies. It's like Bollywood or whatever. I've seen a few Indian movies. Didn't stand a chance. My, uh, my... What, what is her? It's like you got, you got dentists and you got their nurses, right? They're, uh, hygienists, I believe. She's, um... She's Indian. And when I, uh, when I, I had, I went for a cleaning one day. And no, I went for I think it was a cavity filling maybe. Maintain no, it was a cleaning. Security. It was a cleaning. Um, and she was talking about how uh, her and her husband would uh, would like sit down some nights and just binge like multiple like three and a half hour long <laughs> Bollywood movies. It's like they're just so funny. I'm like yeah, okay, I can, I can respect that. It's kind of it's kind of funny when your your uh, your dental hygienist is talking about how they stay up doing an all nighter watching like trashy Bollywood movies, but uh, <laughs> you know I can respect it. The the weirdest thing is if you've ever seen like um the only like the it's 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 it's, it's hilarious because really the like worst part about um. E 
the like trash. I mean, there's, there's some good Indian movies out there too. I can't think of any, but I'm not gonna be, you know, ignorant and say that all Indian movies are bad. That's just I don't need to know of a good Indian movie to know that that's just factually false. <laughs> like that's highly wrong. Um, but we're, we're talking about the the, the trashy, you know. Like, really bad visual effects. The writing is, like, th exactly the same as everything. And, like, that that kind of stuff, you know? Um, have you ever seen them? They're, like, surprisingly... Really good. Except that they're really bad. And I know that sounds weird, but, like, the, 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 the visual effects that they, like, do are bad. But the quality of it is actually, like, fine. And, uh, the, the, like, acting is actually fine, it's just, like, the writing is, is oftentimes just, like, terrible. Oh, it's, it, they're, they're, they're so fun to watch sometimes. And again, I, I don't want to watch too many, I don't, they're, like, I just, I don't watch movies, you know? But I, I have seen a few of those, uh, when, when you were a new dental hygienist, you know, is in your mouth for like uh, 20 minutes or something like that and they're talking about trashy uh, you know Bollywood movies and staying up all night and watching them like you go home and you're like alright like I gotta see what the hype's about you know like it's you just can't resist okay um, yeah they're, they're good fun they're good fun I haven't seen any good ones I just I don't care too so I don't think they're there I just like I don't care to watch it. I don't know. I'm, just, I'm not into movies, you know? The only reason I watched um, the ones I've even watched is because my hygienist spent 20 minutes scraping my teeth telling me about them. But I've, uh, I've seen a few like clips and stuff from some of them. Like a lot, actually. And uh, oh, it's always so funny. I don't know, I don't know, like, I wish I could talk to some of these people, you know? Because I want to know what their motivations are. Are they being sincere? Is, is, it, is it a sincere production where they're actually trying to create something that's, like, genuinely um, inspiring or or interesting or whatever? Or are they just, like, is, is it just, like, a competition of who can make the biggest meme? Because uh, I really don't know, and I want to know. I want to know real bad. Because uh, some of the clips I've seen are just... I saw this one, it was like uh, an Indian short film or something like that. Uh, where they... Uh, the one dude like pickpocketed... Or there, there was this group of four guys. Uh, they pickpocketed... Somebody. Like they pickpocketed somebody's wallet. And then the, the person's like, hey, I'm gonna... Like check you to see if you stole my wallet and they're like okay so then as uh, as he's checking the the four guys who stole his wallet um they're like tossing the wallet around as they raise their arms out of his uh, out of his sight it's uh it's a really just super well done uh production honestly um and so he checks the the four guys uh, and then he's like well i guess you don't have my wallet you can you're free to go so they start walking off all like confident and stuff and uh, the one dude who got uh, who got his pick his wallet pickpocketed, walks off and like pulls out these four phones and does this like spread like a magician with cards with them, and just walks off with this huge smile. It was a really nice smile. He was he was quite cute, but um, it was it was just like the funniest thing. Uh, I'm like, is it like I just I want to know the purpose. Like, is it intentionally Mimi or is it like sincere? I just. I want to know because it's so good. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to me in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.